Hello. Uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has found himself victimized by uh, persons unknown, given <clears throat> disease and parasites and horrible insects and tortured and drugged and run around and made very ill. And, um, an update, Petra, my beloved, uh, was taken quite ill and thankfully we managed to get her to go to the hospital emergency room where they uh, took her into the hospital, admitted her for what appeared to be a pneumonia infection uh, in the lung with a great deal of fluid causing pressure in her left lung, uh, fluid around the heart causing pressure and I'm not sure what else. She was in extreme, excruciating pain. And because of her past traumatic experiences with doctors, she was highly reluctant to go to the emergency room. And thank God she did. Uh, there were several days of not proper medication, being really sick, they're not sure what to do, giving her different medications. Uh, she was supposed to get uh, a tube placed into her left lung from the back and have the lung drain. She was very afraid, didn't want to do it, didn't want to do it, refused treatment, refused treatment. And finally, uh, we managed to comfort her enough to where she could make the decision to go forward with this frightening medical procedure and under the guidance of a sonogram, a live sonogram and the uh, capable hands of the surgeon, I watched as a tiny incision was made in her back and a tube was placed into her lung uh, to begin to drain the fluid <clears throat> and the tube is connected to a long tube which is connected to a big collection thing that measures how much goo comes out of you. And, um, when I left last night around 8.30 there was approximately 350 milliliters of green syrupy goo that had come out of Petra's lung and some of that syrupy goo will be sent to a laboratory where hopefully uh, actual results will be determined to give her uh, the doctor some idea of what's causing these infections and this inflammation and uh, you know viral bacterial um, fungal or some other problem uh, hopefully these results will allow them to choose the proper medication uh, she's been on high dose, like a gram, a couple times, IV, uh, you know, like, I forget, uh, not amoxicillin, but something like that, uh, broad spectrum. Then they gave her something, I can't remember the name of it, that was designed to treat acid reflux, but also kills Bacter pylori, in case that was one of the, it's a common bacteria that infects many people, uh, and something else. But now that the fluid has been sent to the lab, hopefully they'll, they'll be able to uh, determine. And she uh, hadn't eaten for three days. After the, the fluid began to drain, she began to look a little better, although she was very pale and ashen. Still, uh, she had a fever earlier of 100 and one point something and they gave her some Tylenol brought it down to 97 whatever and and she was sweating a lot and then she actually smiled for the first time since Saturday she smiled at me and it was so wonderful so true and so enheartening And I've been, you know, there for as much of the visiting hours as I can manage. It's very stressful for me, and I'm trying to overcome all of my uh, 
program triggers and anxieties that come with hospitals and doctors and sickness and my empathic reaction to the people who are sick and the entrainment that occurs and trying very, very hard to keep a, a jovial, um, positive, uh, supportive, comforting, reassuring, safe, soft, easy, light, loving space uh, emotionally for her as best I can, um, you know, wiping her down and wiping the sweat and feeding her with a spoon and bringing her juice and talking and, and her gender. Uh, when things in your life uh, become threatened, it is the wise ones among us who realize beforehand how precious these things are, and it becomes all the more obvious. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted to say was that Max, our cat, died from fluid buildup. He had an infection. It, it filled his abdominal cavity with fluid, and because he had a feline leukemia virus, and because I didn't have any money, and because I was afraid, and because I didn't know what to do, and because nobody would help, and because I couldn't convince any charities to donate anything because he was had feline leukemia, we couldn't help him. And that weighs so heavily on my heart and mind. I feel so guilty so pathetic, so sad, so that I wasn't able to help Max, and uh, it's only now that I realize, although I knew at the time, that the same thing that's hurting him is hurting us. Uh, this was done to us. people who've had it done to them, they know. And those people who have not yet are still in a trance and have a difficult time believing that such things occur. Uh, I too had such a difficult time believing that such things occur. And uh, it took me several paradigm shifts to come to a place where I could even understand, begin to understand some of what was occurring. Um, I've been watching some videos uh, by a man named Dan, da Dan Snyder, I think, or David Snyder. Um, very interesting videos about NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and Hypnosis. And they will open your eyes to uh, a tremendous uh, amount of influence that people can have over us if we're unaware of how it's being done and what's being done and how we can change it and beginning to learn and practice uh, you know, body integration and visualization, uh, subconscious and conscious integration. Um, I, I don't know if that's what these people call this stuff, but that's what it feels like to me. Um, and uh, it, it has opened my eyes and changed my my life uh, to a degree that I want to continue this change, positive change. And um, I guess I'm losing my train of thought. I gotta go up and see Petra. And so let's all say a prayer for her. She's a wonderful person who never deserved any of this hate or abuse or sickness and none of us do. I'm sorry. I have a lot to say on that subject and hopefully God granted and if God willing I'll be able to. 
thank you for praying and caring and your kindness and togetherness and uh, this is what humanity needs more of strength blessings and peace to all thank you for your time